Hey guys, what's up? It's Mike Chen. Researchers love digging up old bodies and taking away everything they're buried with in the name of science. So in the 1920s, when researchers discovered the cursed tomb of King Tutankhamun, yeah, it's cursed, but we'll get to that later, they of course took away all his priceless treasures and among them were two daggers hidden within the folds of the mummified body. One of them was made of gold, the other one was made of something that's out of this world. The 34 centimeter long dagger had a decorative gold handle with a crystal knob at the end. The blade was clearly iron of some sorts and was encased in a gold sheath. The reason this dagger attracted so much attention from scientists was because iron was considered very rare in the Bronze Age and was even much more valuable than gold. In the past, researchers have speculated that this dagger along with other iron objects found in ancient Egypt were in fact made from meteorites. As ancient Egyptian hieroglyphics mentioned materials they called metal from the sky, but this was never able to be proven because most confirmation methods would involve getting a sample of the blade, destroying it, and then taking a look at the components. That's a bit of a problem when your blade is not only a priceless artifact, but a priceless artifact from a cursed tomb. But recently, scientists from Italy and Egypt used a new and non-destructive technique called X-ray fluorescence spectroscopy, which basically shoots X-rays at the target, and according to their findings, which were published this past week in the Journal of Meteorites and Planetary Science, the blade is made of iron, nickel, and cobalt, which not only strongly suggests its meteoric origin, it is nearly identical to a meteor found 150 miles west of Alexandria. According to the authors of the report, the ancient Egyptians, in the wake of other ancient people of the Mediterranean area, were aware that these rare chunks of iron fell from the sky already in the 13th century BCE anticipating Western culture by more than two millennia. We suggest that ancient Egyptian attributed great value to meteoric iron for the production of fine ornamental or ceremonial objects up until the 14th century BCE. Ever since it was discovered in 1922 by archaeologist Howard Carter and his sponsor friend George Herbert, who died a year later from a mosquito bite, the 3,300-year-old tomb continues to be an object of fascination and mystery. Recently, Egyptian officials announced that radar scans showed possible organic material or metal behind the walls of the tomb and could be that of the famous Egyptian queen Nefertiti and I'll keep you guys posted on that development. So back to the curse which is always fascinating. I did a video about this before but like I mentioned the sponsor of the discovery George Herbert died about a year after the tomb was discovered from a mosquito bite. So what happened was that a mosquito bit him and then he somehow shaved the bite which became infected and he died. Another member of the excavation team died of arsenic poisoning, a radiologist who x-rayed King Tut's mummy, died of some mysterious illness. All in all, about 10 people died who were part of the excavation team. So. I'm not saying it's the mummy, but it's the mummy. Okay, seriously, did they die of a curse? I'm not sure. I'm curious to know what you guys think, but I for one would never mess with the dead and anything that could potentially be cursed because I actually believe in that stuff. I mean, I don't know how that all works, but if someone dies, you should just leave that person alone. No digging up their bodies and putting them in a museum, no taking all their treasures. And it's funny, if you look into cursed tombs now, you'll notice that a lot of scientists say there are a lot of what's considered curses left on tombs of maybe prominent individuals or even regular people that says if you disturb this tomb uh you're cursed you're gonna die a horrible death and archaeologists usually say well they left that message because they don't want people disturbing their tomb it's just kind of a fake warning it doesn't mean anything but what if what if that curse is real. I, for one, am not taking that chance. I don't know that dead person. I don't know what kind of sorcery, witchcraft they used to practice when they're alive. How do I know that curse isn't gonna send a mosquito and bite me to death? Also, King Tut's meteorite's dagger. Isn't that kind of like a lightsaber? I mean, like a lightsaber, that dagger could be made from material that was from a galaxy far, far away. So here's the question for you guys. If you came across a tomb filled with priceless treasure, but on the tomb it says, if you disturb this tomb, you're gonna get stung by a thousand bees and die a horrific death. Would you still excavate the tomb? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you all so much for watching. See you later.